might hear a mower in the background, but you know, it's whatever. So like I said, we're gonna talk about how I afford this. I bought this in uh, August of 2022 and it's a 2023 stingray r a to find it at that time was super lucky to find it at a good price was even more lucky you know so howdy well, i gotta stop and look that's the price you pay yeah <laughs> no i understand i thought maybe you're coming over to yell at me for a second oh, <laughs> i'm just taking some uh photos and videos what year 23 Okay, I just talked to that guy for like 20 minutes and I'm sweating now, so we're gonna cool off a little bit. All right, so I'm not gonna tell you guys everything because you're not the IRS, but I'll start back in the beginning and and tell you the, the, the main ways and, 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 and do hows. Um, so I'm gonna start back when I was 12. Okay, just hear me out, right? But I started um, selling stuff online and that's how I made a good amount of money. Um, sitting at home. I have friends who, who've, who've looked at, you know, my, my eBay account and stuff. Okay, so I started an online selling business. I would sell antiques and collectibles, uh, you know, make 500 bucks a pop on an item, sometimes like that. Um, so that's kind of how I started my sales business. I would go to a flea market, um, talk to these people, get garage sale prices for, for amazing items. I'm talking Dukes of Hazard collectibles. Uh, I remember I did some Star Wars stuff for sure, Planet of the Apes, you know, just movie movie stuff, and, and it was cool because I got to unleash my inner nerd, um, but that's really where I started, and none of that really mattered, you know, because I was just assuming it would all go towards college, okay, college, let's talk about the next point. So, uh, shortly after the, the online sales, uh, I found my way into app development, which was really fun. Self-taught, uh, self-published. Um, I don't even remember how many downloads I had across apps, but it was fun logging into my, my Google ad account every day and just checking that out. So then, uh, I'm also a gamer, so Fortnite, Fortnite comes out, and uh, me and my buddies are playing all the time. Fortnite is a great, great game. And I ended up making an app for Fortnite. Ended up getting myself a little um, front page spot on the newspaper, which then led me into getting a full ride at college. I'm a little camera shy. I won't talk in front of other people. <laughs> it's a it's a learned learned thing. Black is so hard to keep clean. Oh, and I have OCD, so oh. I I literally took it to the car wash yesterday, and then got home and it was covered in dust. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me, right? So I got a full ride to college, so that was a game changer um, I got a very good private education in entrepreneurship um, took a real estate class got my real estate license and then became a licensed agent in Minnesota let's see okay too many people cameras about to die let's speed it up all right so then I got into real estate sold several million in real estate um, I worked on home remodels as well uh, I'm gonna show you two of my favorite projects right here, my most impressive ones. Um, and yeah, and so now we're working on content creation and becoming a content creator. Um, I have an entire business plan, which I'm not gonna really reveal to you guys. Uh, that's, that's a whole nother video and whatnot, but I've got a lot of things planned out. Uh, I just need one YouTube video to really kind of stick out and, and stick and then we can launch phase three of the whole operational plan. Okay, I'm filming this segment after the fact because I got distracted way too many times. Uh, There's a lot going on and I seem to jump around a little bit. So we're gonna bring it all back in together. You know, I wanted to do this a little differently because I wanted to actually include uh, examples of, of what I was doing um, instead of saying, oh yeah, I did this, that, and that for like this amount of time. Uh, yeah, sure. So. We started in online sales. Uh, I would sell antiques and collectibles, vintage items, high-end items. We then moved into app development. I learned that myself probably when I was about 16, 17-ish. Um, started putting out apps for fun. Got really good with using computers, um, creating content. Got a full ride uh, to a private uh, university. Um, my, 
my entrepreneurial education was funded by the founder of Best Buy. That helped me graduate with pretty much zero debt. In fact, I was already selling real estate by that point. So um, I also got licensed in real estate during COVID. Peak market, peak, you know, everyone's buying and selling, right? And it was honestly just the best internship that I could have asked for. Uh, it was a paid internship pretty much. And then I used that money and put it in to uh, my cars. And it was a terrible financial decision <laughs> to buy a brand new Corvette out of college. Um, but I am, I, I was willing to take that risk because I said, you know what? I can always come back to real estate. I can do this for the rest of my life if I really want to. What's the rush? I really just want to take a chance on myself, take a really big Hail Mary, you know, dream and, and put it out there. Uh, my, my following is working well. So straight to it, straight to the point. Hope you learned something. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we're coming up on 10,000, which, you know, means a lot to me as it's one tenth of a hundred, uh, at a hundred thousand, you get a, a plaque. So I'm sure I'll think of something else on the way home, but 